So the first step in this problem is to divide the first digit of our dividend by four. We'll just ignore the other digits for now. And that makes it look like we have the division problem nine divided by four. Great, that's easy. It's just a basic division problem like in the last video. So we ask, how many fours will it take to make nine or almost nine? Well, two fours would be eight and that's almost nine. So just like before, we put the two in our answer spot on top of the line. But wait a minute, there's a lot of room up there. Where exactly do we put it? Well, the answer digit should always go directly above the digit we're dividing. Since we're dividing the digit nine, our two should go right above the nine. Okay, now we multiply. Two times four is eight, and the eight goes below the nine so that we can subtract to get our remainder. Nine minus eight is one, so our remainder is one. Now at this point, in our basic one-step division problems, we would rewrite our remainder up in our answer with a little r next to it. But we aren't going to do that yet because this is long division and we still have more digits to divide, the ones we've been ignoring. Since we're going digit by digit, let's stop ignoring the next digit in our dividend, the 3. Now you might think that our next division step is to divide that 3 by the 4, but it's not quite that simple. We had a remainder from our last division step, and we can't just forget about that. We need to combine that remainder with our next digit and divide them both together. We do that by bringing down a copy of the next digit, the three, and put it right beside the remainder, which is one. When we do that, it looks like our remainder is 13. It's kind of like our remainder is teaming up with the next digit over. And if you think about it, that makes sense because the digits that we were ignoring during our first division step really are part of the remainder because we still need to divide them. Okay, so bringing down that next digit makes our remainder bigger. And that's good because before, the remainder was so small that four couldn't divide into it. But now it's 13 and four will divide into 13. So we ask, how many fours will it take to make 13? Well, three fours would be 12 and that's really close without being too big. So let's put three in our answer line. Yep, it goes right over the three because that's the next digit we were dividing in this digit by digit process. And then three times four is 12, which we put right below the 13 so that we can subtract to get the next remainder, which will also be one. See how we're just repeating the basic division procedure? But we're going further down the screen as we do. All right, now that we have a new remainder, it's time for our next division step. Let's stop ignoring the last digit in the dividend, the six, and bring down a copy of it to team up with our new remainder. Together, they form a remainder of 16. Aha, that's good because it's gonna be easy to divide four into 16 because 16 is a multiple of four. It takes exactly four fours to make 16. So we put a four in the last place of our answer line and then we write the 16 below our new remainder. Now, if we subtract 16 from 16, we see that our last remainder will be zero, which means there's no remainder left. That's great. We solved the whole division problem digit by digit by breaking it up into three basic division steps. And now we know that 936 divided by four equals 234. And we also know why they call it long division. In fact, that was so long, I think I need a coffee break. Oh man, that was some long division. Whew, let's see.